everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card using the Wander card making stamp and thin cut set. So this is the stamp set and I'm going to use many of the images included in the set along with the coordinating thin cuts. So we've got trees and mountains and then I'm going to use some sapphire glitter paper along with evergreen, bluebell, white, daisy, and black cardstock and a little piece of mix-in paper. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to cut my base of bluebell at four by five and a quarter because I'm going to border everything with black. Okay, so I'm going to flip my Versamat over for stamping. And I'm going to use this um, star um, sky filled with stars stamp <laughs> um, on the background. And I'm going to stamp it with white pigment ink. Okay, so I realized I didn't have some scratch paper behind it. So I found some and put it behind my bluebell card so that I can stamp off of the edge and make sure that everything is covered with stars. So I'm just going to continue until I have a good portion of that bluebell cardstock covered. All right. And then because pigment ink takes a long time to dry, I'm going to sprinkle some white embossing powder on it and it'll stick to all this wet ink and also give it a little bit more uh, definition and it just looks cool <laughs> so okay I'm, I'm sprinkling the uh, embossing powder on it and then I'll top off the excess and funnel the rest back into the jar and then I'm going to hit it with my heat tool and melt all of that um, embossing powder and it just takes on more definition and gets more intense um, and brighter white and it just it looks awesome <laughs> so <laughs> okay get that all melted look at that cool all right and then we'll get cleaned up here and continue on so I'm going to stamp my mountains in peacock ink and the best way to make sure that these solid stamps stamp completely um, onto your cardstock is make sure when you mount your stamp onto your block that you don't see any air bubbles and that way you can get a flat image imprinted onto your cardstock and then it's all solid and you don't have any voids. Okay so I have three of my mountain peaks stamped and then I'll bring in my trimmer and then trim those off because I'm going to use the thin cut to cut those out. And then I'm going to cut some evergreen cardstock. So the uh, base of my cardstock is going to be evergreen and it's the light side of evergreen. So I'm just kind of figuring out how much I need. And I think about two and a half inches. I'm just looking, uh, I'm going to put my sentiment and that little uh, pond image on that evergreen. So I cut that at two and a half and then I've cut some extra on the dark side of evergreen um, to be able to thin cut some trees out of that. Okay. So now I'm going to trim out my black cardstock at the A2 size and I'm flipping this around because I'm looking at which corners are the best looking. Um, sometimes they get a little bent and squashed and so I'm picking out the, the ones that look the prettiest <laughs> and so cutting that at four and a quarter by five and a half and then I'm going to take a really thin sliver of this um, mix-in paper so I'm cutting that at about a quarter of an inch by four I'm going to have that little tiny bit on my card front and it it really makes a difference okay so now I'm going to thin cut everything so I have this little pond thin cut I'm going to use the sapphire glitter paper to cut that out. I'll run that through a couple times to make sure it cuts. 
And then I'm going to use my uh, piercing tool to make sure that all of the uh, smaller images are completely cut through. It's just more detail to make it look like water that's part of the thin cut. All right, and then I'm going to cut a whole bunch of trees. So I'll run the big and the little through. And since I want a whole bunch of them, I'm going to double up on my cardstock here. So I'm trimming that and then I'm going to layer it so that next time I run it through, I can cut two of each. And I don't know which is quicker because I do have to fiddle with it a bit. So, but I'm going to make this work. <laughs> Get that tacked down with some purple tape and run those through. And I'm going through several times since I'm going through a few sheets of cardstock. Okay, so now I have three of each of the trees. I'm going to use five on my card front. And then I'm going to trim out my mountain image. And there is one right way to put this um, triangle down. And you'll see me spin it around a couple times in, in a second. Um, but it's, there's one direction to, to lay this triangle down so that it, it cuts evenly all the way around. So here I am flipping it around just to make sure I'm doing it the right way. And that's the one way. And add some more purple tape there. Make sure my die doesn't shift. And run it on through. And one more. Okay. All right, so now I have all my mountains and I have some trees my little pond, my mountain lake, and I'm ready to create my trees. So there are some teensy tiny stamps in this stamp set so you can stamp the, the trunk and branches of your tree. So I'm just going to stamp them in black ink. And those are the tiny trees. And then the next size up. Just for some added detail. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And it says, to another year of adventure. I'm going to stamp that in sapphire ink. And I'm going to move everything closer to me in a second because I want to make sure that I'm stamping my sentiment straight and I have it centered. So this can be a birthday card or an anniversary card. Um, it's just a, it's a, a good sentiment to, for many uses. And you can, it's a either masculine or it could be a feminine card, so. Okay, so now it's time to start assembling and I'm just gonna put my black cardstock down with Tombow tape. Get that down, and I'm going to add the bluebell, just layering everything. So now I have that black border around all the edges, and then I'll add the evergreen. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to put this wood grain piece down first. Or if I wanted to put my tree, my uh, mountains down, and then I decided that it looked better to cover up where I have all these guys layered. So I'm going to put the mountains down first. So two of them will be flat with Tombow, and then the center one is going to be popped with some thin foam tape. So we'll create our little mountain range and get some definition to that. A little added dimension with that foam tape. So get that down and then I'll add some thin foam tape to this wood grain piece so that it can layer over everything at the base there. Okay. 
Okay. And I'll add my little mountain lake, pond, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Let's add some Tombow to that. And then I'm going to scatter a bunch of the trees around. So some I'm going to put down with glue dots. And then some I'm going to pop with some thin foam tape. So we'll add those to the front and place them all around. All of the little images in this stamp set are so much fun to work with. And even though it says it's a card making stamp set, you can definitely use it on some scrapbook pages for hiking, camping, outdoors, pictures. Lots of uses for this stamp set. Okay, and then of course I need some added bling, so I'm going to bring in some of these clear sparkles and scatter a bunch of those around in, in my star sky. So I have the bitty ones and then I have the regular sized ones. Okay, and there's my finished card. So I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. All of these supplies are currently available in my online store and I will make a list with links in the description below and you can shop at the URL in the upper right corner of your screen. Thanks for watching.